of TCI Sports High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight from Kimball High School, it's the Lasser Knights taking on the Kimball Knights. Hello again, everyone. Dave Zorin along with Joe Abramson here at Kimball High School. Joe, a battle of the Knights, if you will. And uh, really, if you look at the uh, uh, records of this uh, battle, you would think it would be a mismatch, but it's not that way. Oh, no. Kimball is 17 and 1. Number one ranked team in Oakland County in Class A. Of all the classes, the only team ranked higher than them is Country Day. But Lasser's won six of their last seven. The first time they played this year at Lasser, it was only a two point win for Kimball. This should be a very good game. Of course, the smart money's on the Knights. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. And for the Lasser Knights, uh, one of their key players is Nathan Newman. Yeah, Nathan Newman's averaging over 15 points a game. Real good at taking the ball to the hole. He's going to have to score probably more than 15 points a game because Kimball's such a good defensive team. They only give up about 46 points a game. Nathan's going to have to get the offense up for Lasser. Okay. On the other side, the very powerful Kimball Knights, as far as their record goes, they've got a key player also. Well, yeah, Shepler, the number one defensive team in Oakland County in terms of points. The team's giving up 46 points a game, and Shepler inside has been a dominant force, getting rebounds, getting about 13 points a game as well. But if guys like Nathan Newman are going to take it inside, he's going to have to deal with this big guy there trying to block his shots, knocking him to the ground a little bit, making him think twice about doing it again. Okay, there you have it, and we'll be back with the tip-off right after these messages. Stay with us. I wrote a letter to TCI because of the kind service and the kindness that was given to me when we needed service. I'm a district manager for family dollar stores here in Detroit and Pontiac. And being a manager, district manager over 16 stores, it's important for us to maintain good customer service day in and day out. If you don't give good service to customers, you don't maintain good service, you don't maintain a good company. And uh, TCI, in my book, has uh, certainly represented customer service to the nth degree. On the Master Anglers, we bring you the hottest fishing action around the state of Michigan. From tips and techniques, to advice and stories from the pros, the Master Anglers gives you the info you need to catch the big ones. Plus, it's just plain fun. That's the Master Anglers, Thursday nights at 8 on TCI Channel 63. to Kimball High School here in Royal Oak. Dave Zorin along with Joe Abramson. And it's good to be back, Joe. And tonight, a battle of the nights as you build it last uh, last week. And you said oh, it would people, be a, People didn't yeah. like what I said. Yeah. And uh, on one side, you'll see the uh, team on top. That is the Losser Knights, 6-3 and three in the conference, 9-8 and eight overall. Kimball, 8-1 and one in the conference, and 17-1 and one overall. And they are in Division Three. Of the Oakland Activities Association. Kimball's already won the league. The one loss to uh, Mott, which was by three. Mike Lewis has his team, the top defensive team in Oakland County, as we mentioned in the open. But Lasser, don't let that record fool you. Recently, they've been on a roll. They've won six of their last seven. Just prior to that streak, they lost by two to Kimball at Lasser. Uh, definitely a much improved team the second half of the season. And Mike Lewis figures this is going to be a pretty tough game for his team to win. OK, and you were saying that this might be a low scoring contest. Well, yeah, when you look at the Oakland County rankings, you don't see any either of these teams <laughs> ranked in the uh, offensive end of it. But uh, Kimball giving up 40, uh, 46 point four points a game. Last are not much worse. They're only giving up 53 point one points per game. Uh, you know, obviously, if either team can get into the 60 or 70 point range, they're going to win the game. But really, this is more of a rebounding battle. Uh, Chris Do Drogash knows it, too. So that's going to be their biggest thing is how they're going to handle the rebounding, especially with Shepler, because they have one of their top guys, Trano, out with an injury tonight, and he's usually their center. Here are the starters for tonight's game. The forwards, Newman champion, or champion, excuse me, Zurich, Fernari, and Von Gries for the Losser Knights. For the Kimball Knights, it's Thomas. Davis, Shepler, Steve Cousins, and Jeff Cousins, or Scott Cousins, excuse me, uh, the two guards. So we'll be calling that name a lot as the guards handling the ball. The officials tonight, Brett Hirsch and Steve Swalick. 
will be our officials. And it is a very warm gymnasium here at Kimball because their swimming pool is right next door. I think they pick up a lot of humidity from that pool. That, in fact, it's 50 degrees outside probably isn't helping us either. We're nope. used to these uh, 20 degree uh, temperatures lately. That's yeah, a rainy, yeah, th this is a humid, humid night. This is a very humid gym. There you see the Knights in uh, the colors. They'll be wearing Losser in the dark uniforms, Kimball in the lighter yellow uniforms. I think the Knights will win. I think the Knights will definitely win this contest. And we are underway. Enough of that now. It's like Canadian football with the Rough Riders. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was trying to think of what sport would have the same teams playing against each other. And already Losser comes up with the turnover on the first possession. Mm -hmm. There's the defense. Kimball. And we get to see that tough defense that Kimball puts on. Right now you see right, they're not able to get the ball inside with the pass so far and that time they couldn't drive either. Driving in the lane and it wouldn't fall for Jeremy Campion and now the ball goes over to Kimball. So neither team doing well in their first possession and as Joe said this may be a low scoring game and as the indications show on the first possession it may be true. Yeah Zurich thought he was going to get that rebound but he was out of bounds with it. Here's a nice steal though. Nice pass over to Campion. Couldn't hit that time. Gets the rebound. Getting the rebound was Fernari, and we have a whistle underneath. Yeah, well so twice. both teams having trouble just getting that ball in the hoop. That's twice that Von Grease has made a steal, but it's for not because the foul is on number 40, Zurich. Take a look here on the rebound. Not on that rebound, apparently on this one here. And yeah, he's over the back, and uh, that's one that you're going to get called almost every time. You can see, looked like he did hit somebody in the head with his elbow. Jeff Cousins back over, and now Scott Cousins with it. Jeff the senior, Scott is the junior. Scott trying to drive, loses it, and picking it up quickly was Nathan Newman. Newman puts it down, and Nathan Newman, the man we highlighted in the open, comes up with the first two points of the game. Yeah, that's something uh, Coach Grogash told us, that he's real good at taking it to the hole, and they're on the fast break. He did just that, got them the early 2-0 lead. Losser setting up in the perimeter, trying to get it inside to Shepler. Shepler kicks it back out for the open three, and nothing there for Scott Cousins. Rebound taken by Newman, and he gets it out. Yeah, I don't know if that's really the shot they wanted, but if you get a, a three-point attempt that wide open, I think you have to take it just so that the opponent's defense will respect it later. But you know, three-point shooting obviously is not your thing if you're not one of the top scoring teams around. Now Zurek up top. Over to Newman. Newman turnaround jumper won't go in and out. Rebound taken by the Knights of Kimball. <laughs> Can't call these teams the Knights. A little confusing. Foul quickly reaching in on number 54, and that was Fernari. Looks like Fernari will pick it up. And he does. Let's take a look, Joe, right yeah, there. The, sec the second As team he foul here. In. Really, I think the foul was on the left, putting his left knee out. Yeah. Blocking, blocking so it's the before uh, the reach in. Here's good inbound. Kimball inbound. Shepler now trying to make something happen and gets the whistle. And it's. Uh, Did he travel or step out? He might have stepped out of bounds, yeah. Yeah, from this angle, you really can't tell, but uh, how do you like the uh, the pink job there? I like that. It's kind of cool. I like that. Got that ABA look early. Yeah, a little well, different. Houston Rockets nowadays. Well, so many three pointers going up, I think that helps the call out there. It's different. It's something, you know. Yeah, I guess if we're going to have a yellow line, you better have the uh, blue to. And go against it. Von Breeze drives, hands it off inside, and Rusty Zurich puts it down for two. Oh, yeah. And it's 4 nothing already for Losser. So far, it's been Von Gries who's been making things happen for Losser, both offensively and defensively. The two steals, and that time the assist to get the easy layup for Zurich. Inside, Shepler in lane and drive. And he'll get it, it'll go to the line. Might have taken a little step, but uh, put the ball down quick enough that I don't think the official is going to call it. Got yeah. the got the foul and the shot to go at that point. Can't tell. Let's see him get the layup and uh, got it. Foul there is. I can't see who they called him. I believe number 44. Brad Dunn, who's in there. Yeah, he just like. checked in. And following up on the three-pointer is Shepler. I was going to say Shepard took it in the paint, but I can't see any paint now that's in the lane. So That's true. Does that change points in the paint yeah. the whole turn? Kimball with a big steal now has a chance to take the lead here as they trail 4-3. 
working the perimeter, then getting it inside of the open Shepler, who has all five points for the Knights, and they quickly take the lead, and the players trying to get a rest. Newman will go back in, along with number 55, Ryan Goble will check in. Well, this was something that Lasser was concerned about, again, with uh, their regular center being out injured, and they think, they think for the season they don't have an inside force that can keep up with uh, Shepler, at least someone who's used to getting those kind of minutes, and Zurich's doing all he can, but just look at him, he's just not as big or as strong, and Shepler's controlling it inside. There you see Goble in there now, and he comes up with it there as the pass goes to him. Oh, and underneath, and there it is. Another yeah. two for Nathan Newman. Newman in the right spot at the right time. Von Grease once again taking him off the dribble, couldn't get the shot to fall, but Newman was there for the rebound, but I think that's something they're going to try to expose later. The fact that so far there, nobody on Kimball is able to keep Von Grease from penetrating to the hole. Denari also out for the Knights. And Newman back in there. Inside, Shepler makes a nice move and puts it down. Brad Shepler already with seven points and all seven for the Kimball Knights. He posted up inside a double team. If he can do that, they're not going to stop him all night. They're going to have to come up with some sort of trick defense and uh, probably just going to have to hammer him and make him go to the line. Campion, not a big guy, trying to get two underneath and couldn't do it. Too many trees down there. You know, look who was there to pick up the loose ball, too. It was Shepler and now got the breakdown. Working inside and working tough, Ryan Thomas gets it to fall. He's not a big guy either, so it's very similar to what uh, Campion was trying to do down on the other end. Yeah, well, Ryan Thomas not a not a tall guy, but he actually is kind of big. Look at him. Here's some muscle there, and something about you know when you got some strength, you can box out and look. Nobody's going to get around him, and then he draws the foul, and that's the second one on Zurich and. Remember, there's no depth at center tonight, and if you get Zurich out of there, it's going to be a field day for guys like Thomas and, more importantly, for Scheffler. And, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily get a dirty play, but if I'm Lasser, I'd start pushing him around a little bit, make him, uh, make him work a little harder, make him go to the line. Of course, Scheffler's sitting right now, so you can't do it, but you're going to have to make him think about taking it inside. Foul reaching in on Kimball, and that's on uh, Mike Malley, who just came in. Well, Mike Malley took his turn at trying to guard Von Grease, and again, wasn't able to stop him. He had to foul him to keep him from going inside, and you got to believe that uh, Eric Von Grease right now th figures nobody's going to stop him from going inside. Now, if he can either just hit the shots or dish out to an open man, they can get some offense going. Zurich goes out, and number 52, Craig Oliver in there now for Lasser. Lasser goes cross court with it to Newman. Newman puts it up. Won't go there. Good hustle. Oliver gets the rebound. Oliver just came off the bench. The junior came Rod up with a nice rebound. Rodman style rebound, tipping it up to himself and then getting it back out to the point guard, letting him re-trigger the offense. Yeah, a lot of players don't have that uh, presence of mind to do that, but uh, it's great when you can get somebody who tips it to himself. Oh. Look at Newman on a nice shot there. Makes it nine to eight. Off the 257 glass. left. Off the glass and Newman's getting his offense going. He took that about minute breather and they sat him down and he's come back a little more uh, energized for this game. Traveling call against Kimball. And the ball going the other way, checking back in now is uh, Scheffler. A few other guys going in Kimball. there. Kimball. I said Zura came out, it was Scheffler who came out and now he goes back in and also going in is Aaron Cato. Yeah, well Zurich had come out for Lasser with his second foul and Scheffler was already sitting for Kimball. Now he's back in and again, Zurich wasn't able to stop him. And I, don't, I can't imagine anybody else stopping him. I figure you just keep posting him up till they come up with a way to keep him out of there. Wasser working the perimeter, not trying to get it inside. Newman now, trouble down there. A lot, lot of players surrounding him and trying to get it in a uh, Von Brees. And now everybody's all over the floor and Kimball gets it back. It's got to be tough on him. He's making all the right plays, and he's in the right spot at the right time. And watch here, Von Grease picked up the loose ball and goes to the hole, and he felt the presence of the defender. And that time, it was uh, Benke. Just wasn't able to get the layup to go. A lot of hustle in there. You can see the ball go out of bounds. Mike Malley on the floor there, trying to cause some trouble for Lasser. And now, some more problem for Kimball, and uh, Lasser gets it back. Uh, there's an important thing for Lasser. They got a foul on Shepler. That's his first, and uh, if you're not able to stop him, maybe at least you can foul him out of there. And that's something I think if I'm Lasser, I'd start doing too. Is 
it's early on, you're only down by one, so maybe take it right at the guy. Take it at Shepard, get him a second foul, maybe try to get him his third and get him on the bench. Newman comes out, and Fernari goes back in, number 54. Wallasser, as they set up. Kimball up by one, nine to eight, with two minutes coming up here in the first quarter. A good patience by Lasser, of course. They have to be patient when Kimball prevent them from getting the ball. Now they force Bruce it. tried to get people to commit to him, and nobody was open. Yeah, it's they... good if they converge on you, but nobody was open, and yeah. they come up with a steal. But outside, and that was the first one, other than Shepler, to get a uh, good field goal from the floor. Yeah, other Benke. than Thomas, Benke hits for two. And there's the result of the turnover, turning into two points, and they're going to get Zurich back in the game on the next whistle. But uh, again, Lasser showed good patience for a while last time, but then they tried to force it, and that caused the turnover. Now they're showing patience again. You have to see if they can keep it up until they get a good shot. Outside, Fernari hits. That's the same thing they tried to do last time, but this time Von Grease did draw the double team to him, and he hit the open man instead of trying to force the pass, and the result was two points for Lasser. Fernari hits for two, and... Late buzzer here, substitutions. There you see Zurich back in, the big center. Both centers are number 40, and both teams are the Knights tonight. So you see a lot of similarities there. A lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. Now 24, Newman is guarding number 24, Cato in there. There, Fernari tries to tip it away from Jeff Cousins as he sets up the play for Kimball. Cato working on Newman, goes inside to the little guy, Malley, and he goes back out to Cato. Yeah, the Lasser coaches wanted a three-second call, didn't get it. Yep. And no shot there. We've got a push on Fernari, looks like, and that's his second foul, looks like. And the, uh, was, the scoreboard says first, but I thought I heard the no, PA announcer two. say two. Yeah, now they've switched it. Take a look there, it's uh, similar to the first foul that he got when he stuck his leg out. This time he stuck his arm out and just doesn't have the quickness to keep up with the guard he's trying to drive on. But he comes up with the steal, gets fouled, doesn't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line. No, let's see, yes he will. I was gonna say, if you don't call a shooting so, foul yeah. there. <laughs> and it's uh, Jeff Cousins with the foul and really not much else he could do. Good job by Fernari actually to force the contact. He got in the air and uh, there was no choice for Cousins but to foul and make him earn the points at the line. 36 seconds left here in the first quarter. It's a one-point game and a chance here for Mike Frenari, the senior, to tie it up. Couldn't get that one, but he'll get one more. Yeah, another chance for him to tie it up. There you see Newman. Nathan Newman with six points leading the way so far. For Lathrop, or Lasher, excuse me, Lathrop. Trying to confuse everybody out there with Knights and Lasser. Yeah, they, they're, 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 char Lasser, they're the Chargers, score. so that, that wouldn't work. All tied up. And now Kimball obviously uh, playing for the last shot, or at least for the last 10 seconds before they try to get the offense going, I would think. Back out Jeff Cousins, now way out. And now they're going to try and get a high screen from Shep where he gets it. And throws up a three, won't go, rebound taken by Newman. If he can get out of there, he might be able to get a shot off. Fernari throws it up in time, but that was a desperation shot. And at the end of one quarter, we're all tied up at 11 apiece. And Joe, you called it a low scoring game and it's very tough defensively. Yeah, and when it's low scoring, it's gonna keep it a close game because you just don't have blocks in that type of situation. Kimball, from everything I've heard, has had seven or eight close games this year and they've won all of them. You know, and the like one game that they lost, I guess you could call it close, they lost by five to Mott, but every game that's been within three or two or one point, they've won the game. They're just, they're experienced at it. If it gets to a close game later on, they're gonna be the more confident team just because they've dealt with it and they know that they are capable of winning those types of games. I'll tell you though, that last shot though, you gotta think they liked getting the open three, they just didn't hit it. Transition every Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. right here on TCI 63, your host Jeffrey Miller takes you uh, in and around the Detroit area talking about uh, controversial issues and uh, interesting stories that affect all of us. That's transition Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. Not bad for an ad lib, huh? I swear. Thank I you. Was, what are you reading? <laughs> hey, Chris, Chris. 
11 yeah. 11 the score you know he doesn't have rosters in front of him either folks he's just making the names yeah, up as he goes yeah i just call these team of the knights why not that's right yeah. <laughs> kimball against losser here at kimball high school all tied up driving and i think it's going to be a traveling call it is on Mike Fernari. Fernari trying to do too much yeah. himself. He, he, he knows he did it, and he knows he might even gotten a break with the travel call because uh, yeah, they could have right called an offensive foul yeah. right there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you're right. He is trying to do a little too much. Just play within yourself. You're not going to blow these guys out. So just play. there, he did a good job on defense. Nice Got job defensively. Now be patient. Get the ball in the hands of the guards and let them set the offense up. And here's setting it up is in there number 12, and that is James Frankel, a junior. Fernari over to Newman. Newman throws it up and in. Newman is hot. Nathan Newman with his first two here in the second well, quarter and uh, the first two of the second quarter. Tell you, one, you can see a basic difference with Newman and a lot of other guys on the floor is he's confident when he shoots the ball. He expects that to go in. He looked like when it went in. You know, hey, been there, done that before, and that's half the battle at this level. Von Gries checks back in, and so does Ryan Goble, number 55. Tell you, they got an open man for three if they want it, but why do that? Yeah, why do it when you can just take it to the hole like that? Brad Scheffler, the center, leading the way for the Knights. Well, you know, and you saw Zurich try to take the charge, but that's about all he can do because he can't afford to get another foul this early on in the game. Uh, Scheffler should be able to dominate that for the rest of this quarter. They go inside. Zurich, nothing there, has trouble, finally gets it off. To Nathan Newman. Newman drives among everybody and he gets fouled and the foul looks like it's going against Scheffler. Yeah, I was say, that's a very key foul. He took it right at him and that's going to be the second foul on Scheffler and that's, uh, you know, like you said earlier, if you can't stop him defensively, then uh, take him offensively and get him out of the game. Scheffler stays in and going in is Eric Benke. There he is, number 44. So Kimball adds some height to their lineup. You have to wonder if maybe they'll go to a zone and try to try to hide Shepard yeah, now. Yeah, take some pressure off him. Because yeah, otherwise, if you're lost, you got to take it at him. Take it right to him, get him out of there. Because the fact is, and it's not that any, you know nobody else is playing badly, but he's been so good on offense, they haven't even bothered to go to anyone else. Hey, make somebody else prove they can score on him. Newman makes his second shot. That's 14-13, one point edge so far for Losser. Fernari goes out. And here come the Kimball Knights, trailing by one. The early going here in the second quarter. Well, here they got the open three, but they don't want to take it. Back to Banky. Banky on the baseline kicks it back out to Scott Cousins. Cousins takes it way out now and will reset. Trying to get a pick off of Scheffler, and now the steal by Von Grease. His third steal already. Von Grease gives it up. Oh, and almost stolen there. Frankel throws it up and gets it. It was, uh, <laughs> it was ragtag, but it looked good in the uh, in the end. And uh, you know, right now the confidence in Lasser, in the, the Lasser version of the Knights, has got to be uh, soaring so far because they're doing this while Scheffler's on the floor. So it's not like they're taking advantage of the opponent's best player yeah. being out. Going inside, Banky moved a few steps before he threw it up. As Joe called it, a travel, and that's a, another turnover, and that's going to cost Kimball as they trail by three now, and could be one of the bigger leads of the game if Losser can hit here. Well, it's funny, both teams have committed their share of turnovers early, and uh, it's really been a matter of which team converts them as to who has the lead at which point in the game, and so far lately, Losser's been doing it. Early on, it was Kimball that was converting the turnovers. Von Breeze goes down low to Frankel. Frankel gives it up to Newman now. No, he couldn't hit. Rebound by Banky, and here come the Kimball Knights. So they get away with the turnover they had last time. And you got to see if maybe they uh, try to post up Shepler again. They were going to last time, but the pass got stolen. Now they're going to run a, maybe a high low with him. They're trying to get Banky down low. He's been running back now. They got Scheffler under there. Scheffler untouched, puts it down. Got a good screen on the outside, and actually a little late in getting the pass to him. Would have been, yeah, it was easy anyway, but it could have been even easier. That's a, it's a play I'm sure they're going to keep in their mind and go back to later on. Yep, back to a one point game now. Scheffler's presence is desperately needed out there for Kimball. He's done pretty much all their scoring. Yeah, but again, it's not that anyone else is doing bad. I don't think anyone yeah. else is taking a shot. No. 
They've been wanting to work it down low, and they have. And again, if, if you're Lasser, you know, they're, they're, they stick with a strict man-to-man -man defense, but you got to think at some point you, you help out, you double down on them, make somebody else beat you because uh, nobody else has so far. Mike Malley checks back in there. You see Zurich is out. And you see Oliver was back in there. And also number 55, Goble, stays in. So that's the height there for Losser. Shepler trying to go inside. Saw Malley cutting through, but too much, too much traffic in there. And there's a foul as Oliver commits the foul on Shepler. I'll tell you. No. What? No. And the Losser bench is even surprised. You saw their bench looking as they thought for sure Craig Oliver well, would get the foul. Take let's a take look. a look. Yeah, especially because well, he, did, he dragged, his, he dragged, yep, dragged foot, his pivot foot. And he's got to be kicking himself for it because Oliver was being way too aggressive yep. on defense as you see Von Grease turn it over with the pass. But Oliver was being way too aggressive and Shepard recognized it, knew that all he had to do was get a pump fake and he's going to get this guy in the air. Remember, Oliver doesn't have any fouls on him. So he can afford to play a little tougher now. Nathan Newman's going to sit down. And he would have gotten the foul. He got hammered on it. And it's something I'm sure they're going to try to go right back to. So Dunn goes in for Newman now for Lawson. And here the ball is thrown away. Yeah, Benke. By Benke. Benke uh, thought for a cut, yeah. Well, he wanted to kick it over to Jeremy Davis. Davis started to cut. I think he expected the pass to go down low to Shepler because, again, trying to post up Oliver. Uh, just a little lack of communication there on the part of uh, Kimball. So Cousins, Scott Cousins checks back in, number 30. Von Grease gives it up to Dunn, and now back over to Von Grease again in the paint, puts it down. Well, so far, nobody's been able to keep him out of the key. Anytime he wants to take someone off the dribble, he does. It's just a matter of getting the shot off or making the pass. That time, Shepler not able to come over and help. And probably reluctant to anyway, because you don't want to waste your third foul on a guard. Von Grease picks up his first two, and it's 18-15. Back up to a three-point lead. And as we go back and forth in the transition game now. Underneath, Malley was open, but the little guy just threw it up. Well, he might have got fouled, too. He felt too. pressure, yeah. He, he, <laughs> he felt might've... the pressure by Von Grease. Yeah, he either, either felt good pressure or he might have got hit in the back. And now a turnover yeah. on the pick and roll. Shepler comes up with it. But hey, if they don't call it, then it's just good defense. Pushing it up quickly. Cousins is fouled on his shot, and he'll go to the line here. That's, Scott Cousins, uh, number 30. That's not a shot that was going to go in either. No. That's probably a foul you don't want to commit. See him go up, going to run yeah, a little half push. push with the body. And, uh, you know, that's even, it's, it's a good call. He definitely got fouled. That's one where if you're not careful later on, you can maybe buy the call where you say he's pushing off with his left arm offensively. Later on in the game, you've got to be careful of that. If you're lost, or maybe tell the refs to watch out for him when he drives. Scott Cousins with a chance to get on the scoreboard. Of course, to get that call, you got to flop. That never, that never happens. <laughs> Nobody flops. Who flops? Bill Lambier. Bill Lambier flops? Well, he did. He was, he, the, king. He was, he was the king of floppers. Oh. Scott Cousins hits and makes it a two point game again. As they trap on Grease in the corner, they give it back up to Newman and he pushes it up court to Oliver. 257 left here in the first half. Newman back up to Von Breeze who tried to drive, nothing there, back out to Newman and he'll set up. Uh, they're going to try to post up Fernari. He's got the double team, almost the triple team on him and almost commits the turnover. Oliver, nothing on it. Fernari comes in and a nice job there for his fifth point to follow up. Good thing he was there. That was an air ball. Yeah, Oliver yeah, I guess he could say it was a pass. But, yeah. you know. Oliver couldn't hit anything. Look at this. The steal. Almost. And it goes out of bounds. Almost good knockaway. You know, you know who else was a great flopper? Still is. Dennis Rodman. Come near him. He just takes off. He actually could do the acting thing. I'm just flying uh -huh. back, land on his head, and the ref giving the call. Give and, him uh, the call. <laughs> on reputation alone. The key is, do you look at the ref, though, once you flop? Do you look at him for the call, or do you just... No, no, you, you just... Win you you scream. You yeah. scream when you get hit, like yeah. it hurt a lot. And then you hope they give you the call. And, uh, right now, Chris Drogash organizing his defense as uh, the Kimball Knights. I'm calling him that, too. The Knights try to impound the ball. Kimball down by four, 2016 at this point. 
inside, triple teamed and getting it over everybody was Ryan Thomas and a whistle underneath. And Kimball will retain possession. No shot though, so it's just an inbound uh, foul. No, they're gonna go oh, to the line. Oh, it is the one and one, it's the one and one. Yeah. That's right, seventh foul. There we go, the foul was called 55 with the foul. And that is Ryan Goebel checking in now as Mike Malley. And going out will be Scott Cousins. Yeah, the seventh foul, so they'll get, Jeremy Davis will get the one and one. And that time, they had Schepler outside the three-point line bring the defender with him, figuring that the double team would come with him and be able to post up a man by himself. The double team stayed down low. I think they recognized what was happening. They're going to make Jeremy Davis get at the line, and uh, so far, so good. Jeremy Davis, the big running back for the Kimball Knights and the running great back. season that they had. Great linebacker. Uh, linebacker as well. Playing, I know he signed a scholarship with somebody, and I don't know who, but he's going to be playing college football next year. Yeah. And, uh, as he should be, he had he was a tremendous player. The game we saw against, against Berkeley, Berkeley yeah. the whole team, is, and Jeremy was one of their top guys. What a game that was. Franco pushes it up quickly, but couldn't find the handle as he wanted to hit Fernari, but just got it to him a little too late. But it works out anyway as they pick up the foul, and Fernari will go to the line. The foul is on number 44, Banky. That's only his first foul. Fenari's been to the line one other time where he split the pair at the end of the first quarter. Uh, to actually to tie the game up. And again, it's still it's a low scoring game, but you know it doesn't have that feel of a low scoring game because it's been an evenly played game. Neither team has had any kind of substantial lead. Fenari hits on his second. And substitution coming in, number 42. Jeremy Campion back in there and going out is Nathan Newman for Losser. Two minutes left here in the first half. 21-18 your score, you see it there. And the time left. Inside, Thomas. As he is fouled, it looks like a foul is on Fernari and will shoot one and one. And he doesn't like it. Let's take a look. I I think I know what he's going to claim. Yeah, he's claiming that's an offensive foul. And yeah, maybe, but you can't but stick that leg out. Him, yeah. That's the same foul he got before. This is his third. This is the second time he's gotten a foul for that. You can't you can't stick your leg out to try to impede him. The ref's going to call that no matter how much uh, arm movement the offensive player is using. So checking out is Fernari. Going back in is Von Brees. And now we're going to get another. Yep, we'll get another substitution. Yeah, they do buzz him in. And that's Zurich. Zurich. Zurich and another one. Newman going back in. So wholesale substitutions yeah. here. Big thing they're telling, they're going to tell Zurich though going in there, you've got a minute 50 left and you've got two fouls. Don't get the third. Be careful. And uh, I'll tell you that last play, that's uh, those things too where if you're guarding the guy and you know you're not quick enough to stop him, you sometimes put the leg out. Um, I mean, I, I'll, I'll do that if I'm playing pickup with a guy. You just, you stick the leg out and try to stop him. Yep. And that, when you have referees, of course, it's going to get called. Mm -hmm. They're not going to let you get away with it. So we're following the guy down the court here <laughs> as we had a good replay of it. Thomas hits them both, and it's a one point game now. Frankel pulls up, gives it up to Von Brees. Von Brees gets pressured. Newman backs up. <laughs> Newman looks for help. He's got a man back door, but a good play by Banky to come up with the turnover. Yeah, I thought if, if Newman was just a little more patient, I figured the way Kimball was overplaying, he was going to get a layup out Look of it. Look at Banky. Banky drive. Well, that's what I thought Newman was going to do. If the team overplays, you're going to get a guy to overcommit going for a loose ball, and then you're going to have an open lane. Now with a minute 11 left, Kimball got the lead back, and once again, look at this. They can't stop him. So now another foul Von underneath. Grease. And Von Grease looks like he'll, he'll be on the, the line. Yeah. Shepler. Let's take a look. Von Grease driving. And oh. Call it on anybody, really. They called it on Shepler, and it's the wrong guy. Um, Shepler wasn't even there. No, nah, Shepler is not the guy that committed Shepler the foul. Shepler caught the ball, and they He's didn't even. The third guy, and that is huge. That's his third foul. He's obviously out for the last minute of this half, but he's going to have to be very careful the entire second half. That was probably committed by Malley, I thought. It looked like yeah. he was the first one to put a there hand in. There were two in. guys up there, uh, up top, who hammered him first. Huge break for Losser. Again, it definitely got fouled, definitely going to the hole, but they, uh, def they also definitely gave the foul to the wrong guy. 
All tied up at 22 with 106 left. Yvonne Grease hits them both. Checking in is Brad Dunn, and going out will be James Frankel, the junior. And Brad Dunn, the senior, goes in. Well, we'll see if Kimball's going to. Can't imagine that they're going to hold it for an entire minute. No. Thomas driving, blocked, and the foul by Oliver. Oliver hit the ball, but he also went in with his body and gets called for the foul. Yeah, he's a little frustrated. I'll tell you what else a little frustrated is Brad Dunn, because he thinks he might have taken a charge, and he might have, if not for Oliver coming over and committing the foul. Let's see if Dunn gets, uh, yeah, yeah. I think he would have taken the charge. I think he could have gotten that, but you got to call the, too, huh? Yeah, you nice got to call the defensive foul first, and, uh, <laughs> Good call. I think that's the first thing that Dunn looked up was you didn't call that on me, did you? When we heard that, it wasn't on him. There's nothing we could say about it. Yeah. Thomas, now three of four from the line. He's been on a streak. There you see Mike Lewis looking on. And once again, a tie score right now. And and <laughs> Got to hit the free throws, and Thomas does. This game probably will be decided by some free throws. Yeah, you never know. It's interesting. Uh, like Lewis had said, if it comes down to that, he's confident in any one of his guys taking those shots. Newman with 40 seconds now gives it up to Von Gries. He drives, they, they throws it up and in. They can't guard him. There's no, right now, I've not seen anybody out there that can keep up with him. Take anybody off the dribble anytime he wants to. Now you hold for the last shot. Yeah. 25 24, one point lead for Losser. They'll make their move inside 10 seconds. Malley now. Got to be careful not to get a five-second call yeah. while you're waiting. And they're getting awfully close to the half-court line if uh, Losser pressures them anymore. Now they'll move it in. Oh. Thomas drives the baseline, puts it down. So a great job by him not to travel. What he did, what he almost did, is almost always call to travel because you, you end up sliding your foot, and he didn't do it. He kept that pivot foot planted, and it's real hard to do. And he was able to convert it into a short baseline jump shot, giving Kimball the lead once again at halftime. And Take a look here. Six points for Thomas. Right led here, the that right foot usually drags, and he didn't drag it. Good job. Get the dribble going, and then stop, pop, and it drops. And he leaned back a little bit, gave himself some room to shoot it. And Mike Lewis is happy as he's up by one. I don't know how happy he could be, but hey, he's up by one, and that's a moral they're victory. Used hey, they're, at, they're used to it. At Close games. Time. Yep. You know, they're 17 and one, but again, seven or eight of those victories have been less than a three-point difference at the end of the game. The score at halftime: the Kimball Knights 26 and the Lasser Knights 25. We'll be back with halftime stats for you right after these messages. Stay with us. If you wish a video cassette of TCI Sports, the cost is $25. Send a check payable to TCI, along with your name, address, and the names of the teams that played in the game to TCI Sports Videotapes, 4500 Delamere Boulevard, Royal Oak, Michigan, 48073. Remember to tell us which game you wish to receive. And thank you for watching TCI Sports. What TCI is looking to do is we're looking to be a full service provider, a, a one-stop shopping place, if you will. Um, we're looking to provide all the services that anyone wants to consume in the area of communications, whether that's cable television, whether that's telephone, whether that's data, online services. Um, our goal is to be able to provide all those through one avenue, and that avenue being TCI. It's the way you inspire. It's the way you grow. It's the way you lead. It's the way you play. It's the way you work. It's the way you discover. TCI. It's the way you learn. to the TCI Sports Game of the Week. The score 26-25 here at halftime. And before we start the second half, let's take a look at back 
at that first half of action here. Lasser doing some uh, quick work and uh, some good hustle here by Fernari. Mike Fernari. Oh yeah, here he's going to get that, that air ball. Get that loose ball and get the foot back. And uh, Nathan Newman's their leading scorer. You see him with the ball here. He's not going to get the basket, but you're going to see Von Grease, who uh, again he's been doing this all night, and he can he can do it as long as he wants. I think just take guys off the dribble and go to the hole. And here he's got the not really an easy layup, but a nice layup on that play. Yeah, six points for both Von Grease and Fernari. And now you see Kimball. Working inside Banky with a nice drive that time and now some good passing yeah, good, by the Knights. Good ball movement to get Shepler underneath in the low post one on one on Zurich and he's able to get the layup to go and that was working early and often. And Shepler leading the way with 11 points for Kimball. On the other side Nathan Newman with nine leading the way for Losser as we are underway now in the second half. And I thought about the three. Yeah. Now they're going to take it. Back out. To Jeff Cousins. Scott Cousins gave it out back out to Jeff and yeah, Scott probably hit. Scott probably should have shot it. He had an open three yeah. at first and he just didn't want it. Fernari now trying to make something happen. Nothing there. And Zurich trying to oh my. get something going. And we've got a foul. And look at this. Scheffler is down. He's down and he's got his fourth foul, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Oh no, he is grabbing his knee in pain. He is Yeah. Well, they they bump knees. I well, you know, be as optimistic as I can. I actually don't. I'd be surprised if this is anything more than the fact that he banged his knee with uh, with Zurich driving to the hole. Although it could have bent kind of funny. But uh, I'll tell you, the foul also bailed him out because Zurich was going down before they ever made contact. He is wincing in pain. He is uh, on the floor. You see the knee, and that's the one that collided. Let's take a look and see if we can see right. where they hit. Well. Right. Screened right here. It and you see right he was there, already right falling there, down yeah. and it just hyperextended a little. And uh, I'll tell you, it looks like it's not much, but you know what? I've seen guys where it didn't look like much, and then you find out they've got a blown out knee and have to have it reconstructed. So you just, you never tell. And then you can also see guys who have it bent all kinds of which ways and be back in two minutes. That does not look good. See if we can see it right here. Right there is where it happens, right? Yep. And unfortunately, it's shielded, and but again, that had already there it happened. Is. Right you there. See it, again, it hyperextended Ooh, yeah. and came back, and uh, there it actually is. You can see he did commit the foul, too. It's the same kind of foul that was getting called on Fernari, where you, you put your leg out to block the guy from driving on you, and Brad Shepler is going to sit down right now with his fourth foul, and that might not matter because uh, yeah, he doesn't know feel any better. Back. He's not coming back anyway. So and, the leading uh, scorer for the Knights of Kimball uh, is out of the game. 11 points for him. Leading scorer, leading rebounder, and more importantly, uh, Mike Lewis said he's the heart and soul of the team. Yeah. And uh, you lose that, it's hard to it's hard to win the game. So he is sitting down at the end of the bench. Maybe he can fire him up from there. But now, basically, the height that they had in the middle to contain Zurich is gone, unless Banky can step in there. Well, remember, <laughs> there he is. Rusty <laughs> Zurich makes his presence known right away when Scheffler goes out. Wow, that was ugly. <laughs> that was ugly. I thought I shot it. Of course, Joe Abramson looking that at thing the went pro off the game glass. every week, so that's why he has that chance to make that. Ryan Thomas there. That was, you know, I'll tell you what, though, if you can keep doing it, that's fine. I think if you're Kimball now, though, you got to take it to wherever Zurich is and get him out of there because he's got a definite height advantage and he's already in foul trouble himself. Newman over to Bernari who hits for two and with Scheffler out that has just opened up Losser's game. You know when you watch Bernari he's real effective when he plays within himself it's when he tries to do stuff that he's not physically capable of doing that he gets into a little bit of trouble. Ron Grace trying to come up with the steal couldn't do it. Craig Oliver checks back in for Losser and going out will be number 55 and that is Ryan Goble. Oh, well, they caught a guy. Uh, caught caught him not ready. In there, yep. And they got bailed out. Davis couldn't hit. So Jeremy Davis had an uncontested shot. And he couldn't hit. Yeah. And it's 29 28. But well, you got to do it right away. Otherwise, the man's going to get there. As you see the travel by Von Grease. And uh, Fernari did get back to make the uh, defensive play. And there, Von Grease trying to take the guy off the dribble. Picked up the dribble too soon and inevitably uh, <laughs> committed the travel. And you're going to do that. Cousins feeds it inside and losing the handle is Jeremy Davis. Davis had a nice layup there, but just couldn't hang on to it. Real sloppy right now for both teams on offense. Still yes. a one-point game, 29-28. I think if you lost her, I was about to say I think you'd want to post them up, but I thought they'd want to post them up down low. Yeah, a little bit closer. Uh, 
You know, he probably should have used the glass like he did last time. Yeah. He must have heard you. <laughs> uh, even he, I mean. <laughs> There's another feed, same play. Davis couldn't hit, but there on the rebound was Jeff Cousins with his first two points. And Jeff Cousins, something similar to what we saw Bernardi doing on those halftime highlights. Catching the air ball and putting it, putting it in quickly, getting position. Let's see if the Knights can pull together now. And the Knights. The Kimball Knights, oh. excuse me. Thank you for pointing that out, Joe. The Kimball Knights can pull together. Fernare for three from outside, a little too long. But let's see if Kimball can pull it together without their big guy in there. And it looks like uh, they're getting more of a team effort now. Well, if you're going to post anyone up, it's going to be Benke or maybe Jeremy Davis, because when we talked about this earlier, he's not, guys that aren't tall but are real muscular can be effective inside. And there's another yeah, guy who's not Thomas. tall. Muscular. Yeah, you can get in there and use your shoulders, use your wide body to create some space for yourself and get an easy layup. And Thomas is quietly now the leader for Kimball with 12 points. Oh, nice fake. Von Grease throws it up, won't go for him. Thomas knocks it over, though, to Scott Cousins, and here comes Kimball. Well, again, he's picking the dribble up a little too soon. He could take one more dribble and get a layup instead of trying to make those double-clutch jumpers in the lane. Uh, of course, Kimball defense have a little bit to do with that. They are blocking him off a little, but when that happens, you got to dish it out. There it oh. is, a three! Jeff Cousins has come in now with five points in the third quarter and the first time out called by either team and it's uh, deservedly so. 35 now for Kimball and 29 for Losser and all this with Shepler out of the game. Uh, I was going to say Chris Drogosh knows he needs a timeout because six points in a low scoring game is a huge deficit and all of a sudden they're hitting threes and he's got to get his team straightened out right now. Let's go down to uh, Drogosh's uh, huddle and see what's going on. We followed them on every cut down there, all right? Time we gotta step it up right now. Six. We got a long way to go. Don't try and get everything on one possession down here. Be patient with the offense, okay? Brad and Nathan get available. Gob will be more active down there, righty? Russ is not going to Watch for them to change defenses. Get ready to run zone two or change defense. Long way to go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Knights out two, one, two, two. Well, the Kimball Knights up nine to four scoring wise, and this is why the big three pointer here in the third quarter. Release, rotation, finish. Splash. Swish. Yeah, splash. Swish. Splish, splash. There There's it is. Shepler. You see Shepler on the sideline with 11 points in the first half. Uh, the only thing to look at real optimistically there is if it was real bad, he wouldn't be sitting on the bench, he'd be in the locker room. So you got to think he's icing that, trying to get back in. Down low, they go to the big guy. Zurich couldn't hit, gets the rebound, actually. The rebound taken there by Goble, and now yeah, Kimball comes up with it. Goble looked like he didn't want to take the shot. Davis looks for help. Out to Thomas now yeah, in the paint. Cut. Nice move, Banky, and knocked away by Goble. Well, he made up for that missed yeah. shot on the other side by making that block. Good defense. Oh, and they got Zurich underneath, and they didn't recognize him. Back out now, Von Grease to set it up. I mean, he just yeah. post him up. Just throw a lob. Yeah. The guy's tall. Throw a lob. Big mismatch underneath the bucket there with him there. See, they don't have too many people to match up with him. Hey, ball is loose and it goes to Kimball. I mean, if you're going to go to him at the baseline, why go to it when he's 10 feet away? He's underneath all by himself. Fight, either fire it through there or lob it. The guy's tall. He's got long arms. Just throw it up towards the rim. He'll catch it. Both teams a little sloppy since the timeout. No one scored yet. And now Cousins, Jeff Cousins, back out to Jeremy Davis. Davis over to Cousins. Cousins finds a man open and Thomas hits. Ryan Thomas. With his sixth point here in the third quarter alone. Well, that's the risk you take when you bring the defense out as far as Lasser's bringing it out. You're going to have a lot of one on one matchups underneath, and uh, the team with more muscle, in this case, Kimball's going to get those layups. Zurich throws it and throws it away. He was looking for Von Grease up top, and Von Grease had stopped his motion and threw it away. Yeah, there's not, uh, not any continuity to their offense. No. Uh, it's lack of communication, really, and that's an eight-point deficit with Kimball having possession of the ball 
Well, Oscar's got to come up with a defensive stop, and they've got to make something happen on the offensive end. They haven't scored in who knows how long. Davis back out to Scott Cousins, Offense. driving, and an offensive foul called on Scott Cousins. Yeah, both refs saw it. Everybody saw it. You can't, uh, you can't go out of control. And if it's close, they're always going to give you the offensive foul because you're out of control. That's his first one. And because of that, Mike Malley checks back in, but he checks in actually for Jeff Cousins. 37-29 the score with 2.20 left here in the third. I'm kind of surprised that Nathan Newman's not on the floor. You're leading the score, you need some offense. You yeah. gotta get him. If he's not there, then this guy here, Von Grease, has got to make it happen. And now he's trying to make the pass happen, and he looks frustrated. He's yelling at Zurich that you're not where I think you're gonna be. Why'd you cut? I still think Von Grease has the ball. Take it to the hole. Take these guys off the dribble. And as we speak, Nathan Newman checks in at the scorer's table. Malley was fouled there by Von Grease and a quick reach in there. Well, that's only the first foul on Loss for this half. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Now Newman checks in for Von Grease. And with Von Grease coming out, I think Newman's got to be the guy on offense. He's got to make stuff happen. Have Zurich set picks for him. Have him take the defense away. And let him drive to the hole. But uh, Newman's got to take the shots. Malley back up to Thomas. Ryan Thomas back to Malley. Malley trying to make something happen. Baseline, nothing there. Now Thomas and cross court wide open was Davis. Davis kicks it back out. Malley for three. In and out. Would have been huge, but he also could have kicked it over to Benke. And now we're going to get a foul. Uh, oh, Ryan I, Thomas. I hope we can see that again. Ryan Thomas with the foul over the top. Let's take a look at this. Because from where we were sitting, you really just you can't see the contact. And yeah, he got underneath him. Yeah. It was more of a like a fouled him with his hip actually. Yeah. Checking in now. Schwank number 20. Easy for you to say. Chris Schwank. Yeah, it's not spelled that way, folks, but that's how it's pronounced. Chris Schwank in there. And the Kimball Knights also bring in Aaron Cato. So a big change there for Kimball. And these guys are hanging back. So Schwank and Cato will be back as the forwards with Benke as the center. Cross court pass to Frankel, and now he'll kick it back out. Up top to Newman. Newman. This is the guy that's got to make it happen. From outside, Frankel can't hit. Malley trying to get it. Frankel hits it off his feet. And a good rebound oh. there and stolen. Benke with a good steal. They'd done everything right up to that point, and then Benke made the steal. A good hustle by Lasser. Really uh, some unfortunate situation for them. But they haven't they haven't scored, I don't think, since Shepler got hurt. Nope, they haven't. Only four points in this third quarter, and that's killing him right now. 37-29, under a minute left here in the third quarter. Schwank guarded closely, goes down to a knee, and then back up, almost threw it away, looking for Jeff Cousins. Cato now throws it back over to Cousins, and Malley now will try to kill the clock. They, they're working for the last shot, possibly. I think they're stalling the whole rest of the quarter out. Yep, and they will. They want to end this quarter with a exclamation point. Only four points scored by the Lobster Knights. And that could be a telling tale at the end of this game. This is how you get ranked the number one defensive team. It's not even a ranking. It's just a factual statistical thing that they give up 46 points a game. Nobody in Oakland County gives up uh, fewer points. They're going to take their time and say, hey, if you're going to want the ball, come and oh. follow us. Yeah, Benke could have taken the three. now. Here's Malley for three. Throws it up. Oh, off. You, you got all kinds of stuff going on away yep. from the ball. Underneath. Two guys killing each other, and yep. nobody gets called for anything. There's a foul with one second left. Benke gets called for the foul, and it's Newman that'll go to the line. Yeah, you Let's guys. See, are they going to be a shoot? Is it going to be a shooting foul? I don't think so. No, they'll no, take it out. No, they're going to get one second to get a shot off, and you couldn't see it, I'm sure. But boy, away from the ball, you guys, one guy from each team on the floor hitting each other, and the last player got up and almost got Kimball player. You can't couldn't see the numbers. Grabbed at his foot, and it's fortunate that he missed him. Now Adam Ray goes in, number 22. He's a sophomore. But he provides some size down there. No yep. time off the clock. As far as we know. As it, I mean, we don't yeah. have those decimal point seconds yeah, They have there. one of those very, very fine touch of the switch, and it could go off right away. Let's see here now. Inbounding, and there it is. No shot. And basically no time to get it off as they tried Zurich. 
And that will end it here in the third quarter as we head into the fourth, 37 29 the score. And uh, really just a fine job by the Knights. And you talk about that defense, they really did a number on them. Yeah, and uh, Losser's got to get something going on their offense. Let's go down to the Knights of Losser and their huddle. Stay in the zone. If they stay in the zone. And the Master Anglers Thursday nights right here on TCI 63 at 8 o'clock, and that'll get you ready for some fishing this season, Joe. We need you didn't go out ice fishing, did you? No, you know, and you know, being Lent and all and being Catholic, I need some of that fish on Fridays this month. Talk to the Master Angler. He's going to catch me some fish so I can eat on Friday. He'll help you put food on the table. Where was he on Ash Wednesday? The Losser Knights with the ball. They are down, uh, actually in that third quarter, 11 to four, the Kimball Knights outscored Losser in that quarter, and that's where that lead comes in now, 37-29 point lead from outside short uh, rebound taken by Davis and he's fouled by Fernari uh, Fernari uh, that was a frustration foul on his part yeah he just missed the three pointer um, and how many does he have now that's I quite a bit can't for him. Could be four. His fourth. that's his fourth and I can't believe that that's the shot they wanted uh, that is his fourth you know you just you don't need to take that shot that fast if you're going to take it take it later but try to get a layup going and uh I still think you got to get Nathan Newman going on the offense. Yeah. Even even if it means forcing shots, he's got to make it happen. He had him going in that first quarter, slowed down in the second, but he's the one who had him uh, right off the bat. Look at this, another three for Jeff Cousins, and I'll tell you, that's not helping Lasser yeah, right now. That's big, and again, an 11-point lead at this style of game, it's not an up-and-down game by any stretch of the imagination. That's hard to overcome. And it does not look good on the scoreboard when you see 40 to 29 right now. That's got to be demoralizing right now for Lasser. They haven't scored in you know, how long has it been? Probably almost a full quarter's worth of actual playing time. This is not the same Nathan Newman we saw in that first quarter either. They're not getting the ball to him. They're not moving like they were. Again, if I'm Nathan Newman, you know, I think you got to start demanding the ball and four shots if you have to. But get open. Make something happen on offense. And look at the defense swarm yeah, on him. They're not going to let him. So they know. Good job by is. the Kimball defense. Newman now trying to make something happen off the glass and in. Look at the guy. I tell you, that's the that's what they need. Scores, score. You know, force the shot if you have to, and get yourself going. That's his first two points since early in the second quarter. That's so his first shot since early in yeah. the second quarter. Frankel trying to overcommit that time, in and out for Scott Cousins, and it didn't go. When they got the foul on Jeremy now Davis. Now they get a foul on Jeremy Davis. <laughs> he doesn't agree with it. He uh, knows. Things turn quickly. Now. He knows he committed the foul. Yep. That's, that's a good hustle foul, but it's a foul. Now you'll see the rebound come off here. And uh, you're always going to get called for that. No matter what. Yeah, I mean, that's. Uh, which, which is what he's thinking. I hit the ball, but then. You know, it's good. It's good hustle. We like yeah. to see that. And uh, he's back. Look at that. Shepler's back. Shepler's Shepler's knee back. down. It's not even wrapped up or anything. And, and uh, his team is up by nine, and they put him back in. He's moving real well. Yep. Yeah, he is. Look at him. He's moving all around that paint. The lack of paint. There you go. Look at this. Is that Nathan an Newman? No, it was, an, it was air ball by Von Grease, but that's the, whatever it is, it's the that's two guys. That's his ability that uh, was uh, missing. Uh, where was it? Well, for it, two quarters. It's the two guys that have to make the offense go for this game yep. doing it there. Shepler back out. Jeremy Davis couldn't hit there. Rebound, rebound taken by Frankel, excuse me. Van Grease back in there. Von Grease back out. Look at this. Oh, Nathan Newman with his first three. The first three for the Losser Knights. And we are back. And Kimball needs a timeout. And Losser's got to be loving this. All of a uh, sudden. Just like that, Losser comes back. Well, again, and you just look at, look at their bench. We're right next to their bench, and these guys are confident. They, they just, you just see it in their eyes. They, and the coach is confident. He, they just feel good. 
go down to the loss or huddle. Doesn't matter which one of you three start at the top of man three, right? Get the entry pass to the wing. Point guard screens away. The other guy flashes back up top. What you gotta be careful of in this is that pass back to the top. Yeah. Don't just expect he's gonna be there. Ball fake, look at the top wing for the guy to get to. That way you three guys are gonna get to different spots. The guard, when it comes back to the top, the guard rule flattens out to stop the bar reversal. Especially when you come back to the top there, look for that triple from the top of the key. Watch for them to change defenses because they're calling a timeout. Press offense. Let's break some deep, fellas. Let's go. Offense. It's all deep, that's what's going on. that end of the court. Three Nathan Newman has scored seven points here in the fourth quarter. Come Two coming off this. Well, here he comes to life. I don't know if it's an alley-oop or an air ball. Either way, it's an easy layup for him. And there and, he uh, is. You see him. And the, his in, team down only by four now. He's in fuego. Take a look at this. Coming up, we hope. Well, we got live action, but uh, here's that three that he hit. Just a second to go, and all of a sudden, an 11 point deficit has been cut to four, and it's been all Nathan Newman. Seven points for Nathan Newman, and that has cut it down. Bodies are flying. Shepler goes flying again, and a whistle came out of that. Uh, it's only going to be the third foul on Wasser. Not a bad foul. You know, the, guy, the guy's been out. You know, he's banged up. You know, push him around a little bit. Welcome him back to the game. Von Grease picks up his second. You, know, you, just don't want to, you, know, you don't want to hurt him or anything, but definitely you, know, you want to what I'm thinking. From outside, he's hit two threes, and this one won't go, as Jeff Cousins couldn't hit that one. And now a chance to cut it to two with five minutes left. Well, the Kaz picked it uh, by one in triple overtime, and he may be right. Uh, we hope not triple overtime, but it's definitely been a good game. Yeah, Cosmo's having a good year, but he's not as good as Will Pickham. We're not as good as either one of them, though, I hate to tell yeah, you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying. Here we see Ryan Goble trying to throw something up here in desperation, and it just wouldn't go for him. Yeah, but they retain possession. Now Von Grease can try to get... Nice Smart. play there by Scott Cousins to knock it away, and Frankel almost touched it. Give Frankel credit for <laughs> yeah. not giving into that temptation, letting it go out of bounds, letting them reset the offense. They get it back in. Von Grease to set it up now. Keep, get the ball to Newman. Let him keep going while he's while he's hot. Nathan Newman leading the way with seven so far in the fourth, and he's the one who's gotten them back. Let's see if they stick with him. They go inside. Oh, good Zurich. defense. Jeremy Davis yep. from behind. Zurich loses it. Davis, and he was surrounded. Shepard did a nice job, too, cutting him off inside yep. so he couldn't go to the hoop. Exactly. Shepard fronted him, and Davis put, stuck the hand in and just enough to tip the ball away and get the steal. And, oh, Oh, that's not off Von Grease. I thought he knocked yeah. it out. Apparently, Jeremy Davis, again, he's hustling all over the floor. That time, he just knocked the ball Let's out. Let's take a look from right under the basket, and we can get a good shot of it here. Yeah, and the As ref was in good down. position, and yeah, it was yep. a good call. Definitely, Definitely a good call. And we got another timeout on the floor, and uh, you can uh, you can sense that both teams are uh, <laughs> feeling the uh, pressure as we get late in the game. And remember, Kimball's used to this. We've said it so many times tonight. Seven or eight of their games have come down to the last minute, only been a two or three point win. The last time they played, they beat these guys by two points. Yeah. The Kimball Knights outscored them 11 to four, and then uh, now it's seven to three here in the fourth. Roadshow video Thursday nights at 9 p.m. You see the king and the queen there. Uh, the king is uh, Pat uh, Collar, and uh, the queen uh, there you see the Mona Lisa. And that is uh, Bubba Wicker. You know who I want to see on a road show? Who's that? Maurice Taylor. Maurice Taylor? Why is that? Think about it. Okay. I got you now. No explanation needed. There you see some of the crowd here at Kimball High School. Uh, they got a good one, and they knew they would have a good one in store between these two teams. As we mentioned in the open, the records really don't reflect uh, what uh, has transpired here. No, but again, last year, six out of the last seven games have been victories. Totally different team than what they were early in the season. A whistle quick to warn the players, no foul or anything there. It's going to get physical. you got defensive yeah. teams that are used to that anyway. Now you've got a close game, and it's there's been a little, uh, little, little rough stuff already, so you're going to see some of that for the rest of this game. Pressure put on by Kimball. Almost hurt him, but they pulled the ball back out. And that's a risky take. Frankel. <laughs> They're not going to let Newman get open. Yep. Yeah, he had to come almost to half court to even get the ball. Now he's got Davis. Way out for the three. No. Good, Good hustle. rebound. Good hustle there by Goble. Kicks it back gotta out three to Zurich. Call. He'll drive. No. And it's a three-second violation. Yeah, you've yep. got to get out of there. And uh, you can't. 
if you're in the lane, you can't go out of bounds to get out of the key. You're still going to be parallel to the key, and they're going to call it three seconds anyway. He's in there for four or five. The ref tried to give him every break he could, and uh, there's nothing, nothing he can do about that. Scott Cousins gets the pick, and now holds up back over to Jeff Cousins. They're not going to give him the three now. Nope. Back out. Thomas now for three. Short. Rebound by Von Grease, the guard. Yeah, good position. And he pushes it up quickly, trying to make something happen in the paint, driving, and won't get it to fall. Nice tip-in effort there by Goebel. He's going to go to the line. Remember we were talking earlier in the half about Von Grease that he was taking guys off the dribble and pulling up in the middle and was turning it over and getting bad shots. Well, this time he takes him off the dribble and goes all the way to the hole. Just can't get it to go, but he's making things happen by taking it all the way to the basket. Yep. And again, it gets them a shot at the free throw line because Goble gets the free throw or gets the uh, putback attempt, gets fouled on it, and that's the second foul on uh, Ryan Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Ryan Thomas committing his second foul. And it looked like uh, Goble lost the contact because he found something on the floor and ran over to his teammates and gave it to one of them and said, hold on to that for me. And, and you know, it actually was a fortunate thing. I was wondering, realizing they're not in the bonus yet. It's a two shot foul because he slapped it towards the hoop when he got fouled and he made both free throws. Cut it to a two point game. From way outside, no, nothing there. And who you got to give it to? And he, <laughs> Von Grease yeah. bought the call. I think it Shepler was off Shepler anyway, but Von Grease made sure. Yeah, Shepler knew, he, he agreed. Was it a 9-0 run right now? Yep. For Losser, and they've got the ball with three minutes left. A chance to tie it up. Three minutes left. Good pass. They give it off to Zurich. Knocked away, though, by Scott Cousins. Good, and, good job by Scott Cousins, yep. though, because Drove, brought Shepler to him. So what you want to do, gave the dish off to Zurich, and somebody else had to come and help, and he did. Now they have to re-trigger their offense. On Breeze, gives it up to Goble. They're going to post Newman. Zurich up. Yep. Yeah, if they post Zurich up, Jeremy Davis is going to come from behind and double him, though. Give it inside. Goble kicks it back out to Newman, who's open. Wide open for Tie the game. two. Tie game. All tied up at 40. And... You know, Nathan Newman, it's been how he goes, how Losser goes. When he wasn't doing anything, they were down by 11. Since he's come on fire, they tied the game up. Kimball setting it up. Oh. Thomas open for the drive and puts it down. Ryan Thomas with his first two points here in the fourth. Yeah, Zurich almost made the steal when he wasn't able to do that. That allowed Thomas to take it right to the hole. Shepler's not going to risk fouling out for that. 16 points for Ryan Thomas. So you get it back to Newman. Underneath, well. Von Gries couldn't hit. Rebound is strong by Zurich, and we got a jump ball. Call possession goes to Kimball. All right, well, that doesn't really hurt you for last. You'd like to get the ball, but as the next possession goes their way. Let's take a look. He should have. I still think he should have not driven all the way that time and kicked it back out to Newman. Well, the guy's hot. Get the ball to him. Scott Cousins brings it up now for Kimball. Pressured by Frankel. Gives a little shove by Frankel. Throws oh. it up. It'll count and it'll go to the line. Nice shot. Great play. A smart attempt to foul him, and they just weren't able to stop the shot. Take a look at this. There you see a little shove by Frankel. Well, the foul's and right now there the on the head. Foul yeah. on the head. Couldn't stop the ball from going up. Gets the shot to go as well. And only his first foul, but uh, yeah. Kimball's he, responded real well. He was badgering him all the way down. Craig Oliver checks in, and so does uh, Frenari now. As you see, Ryan Goble doing a good job in there, checks out. But if you remember, they've, Losser had an 11-0 run to tie this game at 40, and Kimball's responded by hitting four straight, looking for a 5-0 run and a five-point lead right now. Scott Cousins hitting his first field goal from the floor. And now follows up with a three-point play. So Scott Cousins, the junior, hits a big free throw, makes it 45-40. Everything is big now. Newman gives it up. Devon Brees gives it up. Bernari. And he is fouled. And the foul committed by Jeff Cousins. Yeah, he's not happy about it. Fenari will go to the line. He's been pretty good at the line so far tonight. That's the seventh foul on Kimball. So Losser's at the line the rest of the way. The only thing we've got to point out is you take a look here, and the uh, foul's going to be on the arm. This team, Kimball's 17-1. They're ranked number one in Oakland County. 
the students that are here are really loud and they're really into it, but there's nobody here. Yeah. I mean, you know, this place is empty. I mean, you guys that are watching, get on your classmates' backs, show up for the playoff games anyway. And they showed up for football. Fenari will go to the line. He's two of four. If you're wondering why we're going to loss or huddles, we talked <laughs> to the coaches. And, uh, they're the ones that want us. Yeah, they're the ones who allowed us in there. Let's go down there. Try for the steal and hammer. That's what it means. Don't let your guy go by you. Don't leave your guy and then have to jump 50 feet back on. Your man's got the ball. Get up on it. We got three fouls to get before they shoot a foul shot. So we, when we sit, not to, you still got to do it. You still got to do it. When we say fire, all right, you got to go after the ball. You can't leave your man to double because they're going to get a, a layup down there. Then after we get him in the bonus, then we'll come to double after we get him in the bonus. Okay? All right, offensively, it's man three. Good open shot. We still got still plenty of time. It's 22 possessions, especially if we make these free throws. All right? We understand what we're trying to do defensively. Here we go. Come on, boys. Knights on three. One, two, three. Knights. Chris Drogash talking to his team, the Lasser Knights. Well, you and see, there you see the Kimball Knight fans. Yeah, and the ones that are here are great. They're really into it. They, you know, they got the faces painted and all that, but man, you got to show up. You know, these, these people showed up for their football team. There's Nathan Newman who's going to have to make and it happen. He has showed up here in the fourth quarter, getting uh, nine points so far. And at the line is Mike Fernari, 45-40 with 131 left. Two makes the first. <laughs> he was two the of line. four. Tiptoed the line on that one. Yeah. And uh, two of four coming to the line here before that one. Looking to cut it to a three-point lead. And he brings them both. Real calm on that one. Yeah. Nice shot. It's a three-point game, 45-42 at 1.30 left here in this contest. Well, Newman tried to swipe from behind. You don't yep. need to follow him, really, I don't think. They well, do. Well, I guess, I guess they're going to. Because maybe they, I don't know who it is they want. Oh, you know why they're doing it? That's only the 15th foul. If it does yeah. get to where they need to, they're going to have to get into that one-on-one -on -one situation. I didn't realize that. But, um. Uh, you know, on the plus side for Kimball, Mike Lewis said, as we mentioned before. Wide open, Shepler. Yeah, that was too easy. But yeah, Lewis said, hey, he's got no problem with any of his guys taking free throws if it gets to where Lasser has to follow him. Newman for three. It's yeah. good. No, there was a whistle. Yes, it counts. And we have a whistle on it, though. Let's see. Yeah, he got it. And he got a foul. A one-shot foul, and uh, Newman did something. Let's see after the shot, he's limping around. Yeah. He made the three. And he got fouled And on he it. got fouled, so it could be a four-point play and could pull up to one point now with 110 left. Well, again, <laughs> as he goes, so... <laughs> yeah. So a little he's got breaks. all but two of their points here in the fourth quarter. He's going to cut it to he's one got it. Game. A one-point game, 47-46. Pressure put on. No. And a quick no. foul given to Ryan Goble with 106 left. Again, that gets it to six, so that now if they have to foul, and I don't know if they're going to want to foul just yet or not, but if it gets to that point, they're going to be going right away. Loss is going to call a timeout now and talk about things. I don't know if you need to foul yet. Even though Kimball can stall it, see if you can force a turnover. You've been, they were doing it early on in the game. They've got the kind of defense that can make it happen. And if you get to a two or to a three point deficit, you know you got Newman who can hit the three for you. Chris Drogash now talking to his team. Let's go down and listen in. We got two. Watch the three. We got two. Exactly. <laughs> play, we're not going to try and deny the inbound right here. We're just going to play off. We're going to let the inbound pass come up. Everybody's going to get their man. We're going to foul. We're going to foul the first player. That's fire. That's fire. Get out your man. The foul will make him make him one on one. All right. We come down, run man three offensive. Can't give up anything easy. Got to play pressure deep. Got to communicate. Got to want it, right? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Knights on two, one, two, three. Knights. Nice. Are we going to play the, the inbound pass here to Shepler? Wide open easy. for two. And that gave him 47. But on the way back, Nathan Newman hit a big three and got the foul and made it a four point play to uh, make it a one point game as. Jeremy Davis inbounds and a quick foul again. When you heard during the timeout, that's what they were going to do. Play the pressure deep, get into the line, and then get into their offense. It's one and one. If he uh, if he does, if he makes two, finds a three-point difference. Either maybe have Newman for up the three or go for the easy shot, go for the easy layup. 
if he gets one or none, he's got a chance to take the lead. Scott Cousins, two of three from the line tonight. 103 left in the game. It's a one point game, and Scott Cousins can add two here if he wants. Nothing there. Zert won't get another shot. Good position by Zert. Way to hold on to the rebound and not force anything. He just let, the, let everybody clear out and get it in the hands of the point guard. Wasser now a chance to take the lead. Get Newman the ball. Good steal. Big there. steal here. Jeremy Davis comes up with it, trying to keep it in. It's going to be and over throws and back. it away. Well, it doesn't matter. It's over and back anyway. Oh, he got it here. Yep. Yeah, he tipped it over and threw Couldn't it back. Throw back. Yep. But by throwing it where he did, they're going to inbound down there as opposed to back here. Probably should have just called timeout in midair, which you see a lot in college and in the pros. But uh, really good hustle by Jeremy Davis. It's hard just to turn yeah. and do anything there. They always teach you to throw it back towards the basket. A lot of times that's a layup for yeah, the other team. Yeah, that could be an easy, uh, easy layup. Anyway, Von Grease has it, gives it up to Zurich. Plenty of time. Try to make something happen. Good move. Von Grease couldn't hit. Rebound, Shepler gives it up. And Cousins now slows it down. And there's a quick foul. And they're going to send. Uh, picks up another foul as they foul Jeff Cousins. Yeah, they're going to send the other Cousins to the line this time. And uh, again, they're still in it. Never got the ball. I'm surprised they never got the ball in the Newman's hands in that possession. I know it's not easy. It's easier said than done. But uh, a nice move. But you're looking at a, uh, a Jordan S type of shot off the spin, and they still not able to get it. Shepler all alone down there getting the boards. Here's Cousins, his first trip to the line. He's the senior, so a little bit more experience here than Scott. And it shows as he hits. Two-point game again, 48-46 with 23 seconds left. And what happens on this one determines a lot for the Lasser offense, obviously. And he hit them both, Jeff Cousins. Makes it 49-46. Three-point lead as you see it for Kimball. Back out. Von Grease, 15, 14, and counting down. Bernari can't hit. Ball knocked away. Kimball has it. Scott Cousins with the foul on Newman. Yep. If Scott Cousins makes the first one. It's not going to matter if he misses it. Loss is going to have five seconds to get it up the court and get off of desperation three. And uh, again, they didn't. I'm surprised that guy didn't shoot it. Yeah, uh, Fenari, Fenari. Fenari's been a good shooter tonight, but I just think yeah. when it's uh, he's when been it's in that and out time, a little too often, well, a little cold, and, and you've got the hot man Newland, well, and they have just haven't gone to him. You enough. go to your guy. You know, if you got a guy that's like that, that's been hitting, you have to get him the ball. You know, if you're the Chicago Bulls, you don't let Scottie Pippen take the buzzer shots. You, only one man takes those. And uh, yeah. I think it's that kind of thing where you've got yeah. a guy who's on, he's got to be the guy. 49-46, let's go down to the Losser huddle. To one of these two guys, everybody else spread out, spot up. Timeouts left, so you don't want that Chris Weber situation to come up for yeah. you. Uh, and now you're obviously, it's like he said, first open shot, you got to take it. You can't just play it for Newman because you don't have enough time. Um, but when you've got the ball with 30 seconds, you should be able to set a screen or a couple screens, get him an open shot. Biggest thing here is you, it's not the fate's not in their hands. They've got to hope that there's a missed free throw here by Cousins. Scott Cousins, uh, two of four from the line. Five seconds left. And he hits. That's it. That's a big bucket right there. Oh, 50 to 40. It's over no matter what because they don't have a timeout left. Even if Lasser hits a three, Kimball won't have to inbound the ball. So the game is over. And a lot of pressure off that youngster right there as he doesn't hit on the second. They get the rebound. The clock winding down. And Ron Brees can't hit. And the Kimball Knights continue a big victory here as they go 18 and 1 now in the division. They are 9 and 1. And Mike Lewis and his team 
they had to earn their victory tonight. Yeah, but it's what they've been doing all, all year. They, they don't score a lot of points. They give up an average of 46 a game. That's what they gave up tonight. This is, this is how they've gotten to where they are. They're 18 and one now, and uh, hey, you know why should today be any different? You know, they uh, hey, they beat them by twice as much as they beat them by the last time they played them. Mike Lewis heads off with another victory. This one in the conference, as he goes nine and one in the conference, and Losser those nights there putting on a, a valiant effort, really. But I think they went to Nathan Newman just a little too late. Yeah, he uh, you got to set screens for him. You got to get him to just get into it. And he, he was a little late in trying to get it going. And Shepler, you see, uh, talking to some people, limping a little bit off the floor. He'd probably be uh, out of practice, I would think, the rest of the week. It'll be harder to walk tomorrow than it is right now. But just the fact that he went back in, made a crucial layup late in the game, you know that it's not a serious injury. And the final score here at Kimball High School, the Kimball Knights continue to roll 50 to 46 over the Losser Knights. We'll be back to wrap it up right after these messages. Stay with us. Perspective with Neil Monroe is an informative talk show that discusses issues often overlooked by broadcast stations. Neil Monroe, the editor of the Oakland Press newspaper, will keep you abreast on hot topics, events, and issues taking place in Oakland County. So for news you can use, join Neil Monroe every week on the Oakland Press Perspective, Friday night at 8.30 on TCI 63. If you wish a video cassette of TCI Sports, the cost is $25. Send a check payable to TCI, along with your name, address, and the names of the teams that played in the game, to TCI Sports Videotapes, 4500 Delamere Boulevard, Royal Oak, Michigan, 48073. Remember to tell us which game you wish to receive. And thank you for watching TCI Sports. And the final score here at Kimball High School, the Kimball Knights 50 and the Losser Knights 46. And Joe, it looked like Kimball was going to run away with it after that third quarter. And a valiant effort there by Losser as you see the scoring by quarters. 11-11 uh, after one quarter of play and that was still pretty close after two. And then as you look at the third, it looked like Kimball was going to run away with it. All that after their star player, Shepler, was out of the game. Yeah, and it was kind of a funny thing too because the 11 by Kim. Kimball at between the third and fourth had an 11-0 run to take that lead, I believe. And then Losser came, came back, back with their own to tie it up. With their at own. At 40, Kimball went on a 5-0 run. It went back and forth. And uh, Losser pretty much was all Nathan Newman. When he was hitting, they were in the game. Yep. When they didn't go to him, he, they weren't in the game. And uh, Kimball survived a couple of droughts. They survived a scary uh, injury to Shepler. And through all that, they did just what they usually do. They held their opponent to 46 points, and they won by about four points. They usually yep. win by two, three, four points. And uh, all that despite Losser outscoring them 17-13 in that final quarter. But it was Nathan Newman who uh, led the way for Losser with 22 points. And he had a total of uh, 13 of those 22 in that fourth quarter, and that yeah. helped that big and comeback. Don't forget that huge four-point play. Hit the three, got the yeah. foul, made the free throw, and uh, you know, I mean, it's again, it's a frustrating way to lose. Yeah. Uh, they had one six to seven, but uh, that's what Kimball's done to people all year. Yeah, and when Shepler went out, he, uh, by the way, had 13 points, but Ryan Thomas led the way with 16 for Kimball. He had some. Uh, Big buckets underneath quietly did it also by the way uh, Jeff Cousins had two big three pointers that kind of was a uh, momentum thing for uh, the uh, Kimball Knights. Yeah not just that he hit the two big free throws late and then his brother Scott who missed one at one point in the fourth quarter that would have been very relatively important anyway when it was a three point game with five seconds left he hit the front end of the one and one which gave it the four point lead which meant it was totally out of. Losser's reach and again you know anyone watching this don't be fooled don't say how are they 17 and 1 when they win like this. It's not that they have an easy schedule. These guys have beaten Southfield Lathrop and they've beaten Ferndale and they've beaten everybody else that they've played. So I mean about the only team of the top teams in Oakland County that they haven't played is uh, Clarkston and uh, they're going to keep that number one ranking for another week. OK and we'll see how far they go. In the meantime uh, don't forget to tune in for transition Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. right here on TCI 63 with your host Jeff Miller. 
as uh, we remind you that uh, our programming continues and uh, we'll continue our basketball coverage. Now this is a possibly uh, a possibility if Oakland University uh, wins on Friday night, that would be uh, March 1st, we will continue with our coverage and we will cover them on Saturday, uh, March 2nd. Yeah, that's the GLIAC tournament. They're hosting it. Semifinals are Friday, so if they win, they're obviously in the championship game. So if you see us doing OU, it's the GLIAC championship. And if you see that man on your screen without run. the graphics over his face, run, please. If you see him on your porch, call the police. <laughs> that's uh, Bubba of uh, Roadshow Video fame. Don't forget to tune in for that on uh, most of these TCI stations. The final score, the Kimball Knights 50 and the Losser Knights 46, and that will conclude our basketball season for this 96 season. Hope you enjoyed our coverage, and we'll be back with you with the three-point uh, shootout and uh, slam dunk contest, and, of course, uh, your big contest in the uh, summer. Yeah, the Macomb Oakland All-Star game. Uh Two years in a row, we've had it less than a five-point difference, so hopefully, uh, keep our fingers crossed, be another close game. Okay, and then, of course, we cover uh, football starting in the fall. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on down the line. Thanks for uh, uh, all of our hardworking crew, our TCI uh, staff, sports uh, coverage. And uh, for them, for Joe Abramson, I'm Dave Zorn. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you later on down the season.